The U.S. Navy's transformation of the F-14 Tomcat into a bomber, known as the Bombcat, emerged in the 1990s as a strategic response to evolving military needs. Following the retirement of the A-6 Intruder, the Navy faced a gap in its carrier-based strike capabilities until the F-A-18 EF Super Hornet entered service. The F-14, originally designed as an air superiority fighter, was repurposed for ground attacks due to its high payload capacity and advanced avionics, outperforming older F-A-18 Hornets in ordnance delivery. This shift was accelerated by the post-Cold War landscape, where the Tomcat's primary role against Soviet threats became less urgent, prompting the Navy to justify its continued use through multi-role flexibility. Key modifications enabled the F-14's bomber role. The integration of the Lantiron targeting pod allowed laser-guided bomb deployment. Though early versions relied on F-A-18s for target designation during missions like Operation Deliberate Force in Bosnia, 1995. Later upgrades included GPS-guided munitions and improved radar modes for terrain mapping, enhancing the Bombcat's ability to operate at high altitudes, critical in Afghanistan's mountainous regions. The Tomcat's robust airframe and central underbelly canal reduced drag from heavy bomb loads, while its dual-seat configuration allowed pilots and radar intercept officers to efficiently manage strike coordination. The Bombcat's combat debut occurred during the 1995 NATO intervention in Bosnia, marking the F-14's first use of air-to-ground ordnance. By the 2003 Iraq invasion, upgraded F-14Ds equipped with secure data links and advanced pods provided critical support for U.S. Special Operations Forces, designating targets and guiding precision strikes on Iraqi radar installations and command bunkers. These missions highlighted the Tomcat's versatility, transitioning from fleet defense to acting as a forward air controller FACA, directing other aircraft in complex strike packages. Interestingly, Iran independently modified its F-14s into bombers during the 1980s Iran-Iraq War, using improvised bomb racks and automated release systems. Declassified reports suggest U.S.-designed components may have inadvertently aided these efforts, as Iran's Tomcats conducted heavy bombing raids years before the U.S. Navy's Bombcat program. The Bombcat's service was short-lived but impactful. By 2006, rising maintenance costs and the F-A-18EF Super Hornet's arrival led to the F-14's retirement. However, its success in operations over Yugoslavia, Afghanistan, and Iraq demonstrated the value of retrofitting existing platforms for new roles, a lesson influencing modern multi-role fighter designs. Thank you.